Hello there YouTube, welcome back to another What's Sold This Week, except in, instead of it being a What's Sold This Week, it's more of a What's Sold in the last three weeks because I am incredibly lazy. For those of you who are new here, which is just about everybody because I have three subscribers, two of which are my family, thank you fam, I'm Juliana and I run a store called Honey Bee Happy which mainly focuses on children's clothing but lately we've been diving more into women's and men's because we bought a bus full of new with tags things. So we've been slowly rolling those out. Once again, I'm old school and I have it written down in a book. You hear crinkling, that's it. So like the last video, I'm gonna go by platform rather than by date because it's just easier for me to keep track of. I saw on Poshmark, Macari, Kitizen, and eBay. So I have quite a few different sales from quite a few different sites. So let's just jump right in because there's a lot to go through. I'm gonna try and give as much information as I can and I will try to pop up the screenshot of the item here uh, if my editor lets me and yeah let's just dive right in. On April 14th I sold a Matilda Jane floral bathing suit in a size 2T. Now I had listed that on April 11th at $20 and it sold for full price at $20 so I ended up making $15.01. On April 14th I also sold a purple North Face jacket in a size 3T. This I had listed on the 11th as well at $20. I took an offer of $18. So I ended up making $11.95. On the 18th, I ended up selling four things from Macari. The first was a three to six month boys bundle. This I had listed on the first at $15 plus $10.77 in shipping and it ended up selling for full price. So I made $13.50. So the second thing I ended up selling that day was a pair of New Way Tags Caution to the Wind skinny jeans. These had a really pretty floral embroidery up the leg but they did have a broken belt loop so I did list them a little low. Not to mention they're kind of an obscure brand, so I wasn't sure really what to price them at. So I listed them at $15, ended up selling for full price of $15, and ended up making $8.51 on those. The next thing we sold was a LuLaRoe Monroe Kimono, new with tags. We had listed that on the 17th, and it's at $16, and it sold for $12, so we made $7.31 on that. And the final thing that sold was a Rare Editions New with Tags 4th of July outfit in a size 12 to 18 months. I listed that on the 17th at $15 and we took an offer for $12, so we ended up making $7.31. The next day on the 19th, I had four more sales on Macari. The first one was a four secret treasure bras that were new with tags. I had them listed at $15 plus shipping. And they had sold for $12 plus shipping, so I ended up making $10.80 on those. The next thing we sold was a mini Bowden Boys long sleeve tee. It had stripes on this in the middle and uh, different colored sleeves. That we had listed at $12 on March 21st. We did take an offer for $9, so I ended up making $5.11 on that. The third item was a Boys New with Tags Adidas track pants. They had been listed on the 16th at $15, and we had a few different offers come in on them, and we ended up taking one for $13, uh, so we made $6.71 on those. And the final item from the 19th was another new with tags, LuLaRoe. This one is a Madison skirt. We had this listed on the 17th at $15, and we sold it for full price at $15, and we ended up making $8.90 on it. On the 20th, we only sold one item over on Macari. That was a Matilda Jane sweater set. It had been listed on the 11th at $20, and we ended up taking an offer of $18. So we made $11.21 on that. On the 21st, which was also my birthday, so happy birthday to me who sold two things on the car room, we sold a pair of women's new with tags Under Armour Capri leggings. Those we listed the day before for $25. We ended up taking an offer for $22, so I made $15.20 on that. And the second thing that we sold that day was a new with tags LuLaRoe Nicole dress. Um, that one we had listed that day at $19. Took an offer for 17 and we made 10.31. On the 23rd, we sold a pair of New Tags Nike Slim Fit leggings for women. Uh, we had listed these on the 19th at 22. They sold for 20, and we ended up making 13 dollars and one cent on those. On the 24th, we sold a kids Old Navy hot pink bathing suit um, that we had listed on the 16th at 10 dollars. We did take an offer for nine. And then it sold at $4.61, which is better than I thought it was going to be for because I was just going to throw it into a lot. 
But then I was like, eh, I'll test my luck and see what happens. The worst that happens is that it doesn't sell and then it just gets thrown into a lot. So I made $4 more than I thought I would. On the 25th, we sold two more things. The first was an eight piece girls sleepwear lot and that we had listed on March 24th at $20 and it sold for full price of $20. And after shipping, ended up making $8.32. The second was a new with tags LuLaRoe Madison skirt that we had listed on the 17th at $15 and it sold for full price of $15 so we ended up making $8.90 on that. Also on the 24th I sold a pair of boys Carhartt overalls. Those were listed on the 20th at $20. We ended up taking an offer for $17 so I made $10.31 on those. Later that day I sold a made by Yafet Oren Rory. Not sure. Um, it was a pink high-low dress. It was very flowy, very pretty. I enjoyed it. I wish it had been in my size, but no one ever makes cute things in my size. So that we had listed on the 17th at $45. I ended up countering an offer for $42, so I made $33.20. On the 20th, I also sold a Bally bra that had been listed at $418 for $18, and it sold for $16. So I made $10.91. On the 26th, I sold a Gap ruffle skirt, a girl's Gap ruffle skirt that I had listed on February 21st at $12. It sold for $11. I think the person offered $10. I counted it $11 or maybe they offered $11. I don't remember exactly. But I made $5.65 on that. Also on the 26th, I sold a Cherry Coke cropped jean jacket. And it was listed on the 17th at $30 plus $11 in shipping, and it sold for $30 plus the shipping. So I made $27, and now this jean jacket, I actually had someone offer me $23. I countered, I think, it $28, and they countered at $26. So I said, can we meet in the middle at $27? And they said, no, $26. So I said, no deal. No. So then not even, like... 10 minutes later it sold for full price by some person, like some account that was just numbers, they had no reviews, and I was like this seems a little fishy. So I thought that it was a scam, um, but I wasn't really sure what to do, so I ended up shipping the item out anyway, and I was like I know that they're going to initiate a return on this. Like, I just know it, and I don't know if they're going to try to send me a different item, or if they're going to destroy the item, or what's up. But Macari ended up actually denying their claim, thankfully, so I still made my $27, and they had to keep the jacket. So, trust your gut when something feels weird, but also know what to do when something feels weird, because I still don't know if there was anything that I could have done in that situation to be like, no, I don't want to sell it to you because you seem like a scam? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know, man. Moving on. On the 27th, I sold a boys new with tags um, tea lot, uh, a t-shirt lot, and that was listed on the 23rd at $35 plus $17 in shipping. Now, Macari doesn't really do how like eBay does, where it's priority and it's based on your location. They just do set shipping prices and their prices are insane. So at anything over three pounds is like $17. Anything over like five pounds is like $28 or something. It's, uh, I'm, I don't know why anybody would ever buy anything for that price of shipping on Macari, but someone did. Someone did <laughs> and um, so it sold for $30 plus shipping, so I ended up making $27 on that. On the last day of the month, I sold three things. The first one was a new with tags LuLaRoe Nicole dress. This one we had listed on the 21st at $21, and it had sold for full price at $21, so I ended up making $13.91. We also sold another LuLaRoe item this time. It was a Monroe kimono, and that we had listed on the 17th at $15. It sold for full price of $15 and we made $8.90 on that. The final thing that I sold was a pair of Gymboree khaki skort pant things. Um, like school uniform skort. Um, that we had listed on the 28th at $10 because 
It had originally been part of a lot of three with two navy blue ones and someone reached out and said, hey, my kid's school only takes the khaki, so would you separate it out? And I said, yeah, sure, but it'd be $10 because they were originally $25 for the three. He said, yeah, that's fine. So I ended up making $4.40 on that pair. So my gross profit on Macari for the rest of the month was $307.95. On to Kittison. On Kittison on the 17th, I sold a Flap Doodles two-piece bathing suit set. And Flap Doodles is a really cute name. They make really cute stuff. I listed the bathing suit at $20 and it sold for $20. So I ended up making $14.02 on that. My next sale was on the 20th, which was a Hannah Anderson cat shirt. Um, cat things are all the rage, I guess. That was listed at 12 and it sold for full price of 12 and I made $6.98. And then my next sale wasn't until the 27th, where I sold a set of two Justice shorts. That I had listed for 20 I took an offer of 16 just because I had them listed since I started in February. So I made $8.52. And that was all that I sold on Kittizen. I'm gonna be honest, I don't try that hard on Kittizen. <laughs> um, lately, the website hasn't really been working for me, so I haven't even been listing on Kittizen. And I only list the kids' items. I don't list Mrs. items on there. So I'm probably missing a huge market on Kittizen, but it's just a lot of work keeping up with three. So until I find one of those little platform thingies that like lists in multiple places that involves Kittizen, I probably won't be taking Kizen as seriously as I probably should. All that being said, on Kizen I only made $29.52 for these three weeks. On to Poshmark, I had surprisingly more sales than I thought I was going to have. My Poshmark is actually starting to pick up slowly, which is really nice because I'd rather sell on Poshmark than on Macari just because um, it seems just like a better platform. I don't... I wouldn't say like a better platform, it just seems like a better place to sell things as, as a seller. If that even makes sense, that probably doesn't make sense without like reasoning why, but <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, on Poshmark on the 13th I sold a boys tea collection snake shirt. This I had listed for 12 and someone bought it for 12 so I ended up making 905 on that. Then it wasn't until the 17th that I sold another item. This time it was a women's Patagonia um, nine, t nine Trails shorts. I always want to say Nine Tails <laughs> but it's not Nine Tails, it's Nine Trails. Um, that I had listed at 25 and I took an offer of 22 so I ended up making 1760 on those. On the 19th, I sold a new with tags Michael Kors bathing suit, and this I had listed for 30. Someone purchased it for 30, and then I'm making 24 dollars on that. And they actually gave me a three star review um, because they said the back button thing was falling off, which it was not falling off when it left my house. So I don't know. I checked, I made sure, I listed all flaws, which there were none because it was new with tags. Um, so I guess something must have happened, unfortunately, um, and I feel bad about that. On the 23rd, I sold a pair of Torrid leggings. I had these listed at 18, and I had a buyer who was very persistent that they were going to buy them at a very low price. I ended up settling at $14 plus discounted shipping because I did not spend that much on them, and I made $8.93 on those. On the 25th, I had sold a new Tags Loft blue, pair of blue shorts, and these actually sold within like 20 minutes of being listed, which I never would have thought. Now these sold at 15, and I believe I had them listed at 15. I might have had them listed at 18. I don't remember exactly, um, but either way I made $12 on them. Then on the 27th, I had sold a pair of Bayshore Roxy sneaker slip-on shoes. They're, they were adorable. Um, I had them listed at 20 and I ended up taking an offer for 15 so I made another $12 on those. On the 28th, I sold a pair of Yossi Samra flats. And these come in a box about this big and they fold over. So like you have to open them up and then there's like a crease in them, but they don't have like a sole in the middle. They just have sole on the top and the bottom, so it's really weird. But they uh, sold really well. I listed them at 60 and someone had offered me like $30 for them and I was like, yeah, no. 
So someone had offered me, I think 48 and I counted it 52. So then ended up taking that and I ended up making $41 and 60 cents. And I believe we still have about eight or nine pairs of these in the stuff from the bus. So hopefully they all do just as well. Now on the 29th, I sold two things on Poshmark. The first was a ballet bra in a size 36 double D um, that I had listed for 20 and it did sell for 15. So I made $12 on that. And then there was an Athleta Swagger shorts that were new with tags that I listed for 25. I sent in an offer for $22 plus discounted shipping. Someone took the bait and I made $15.48. And that was pretty rad because I found these at Goodwill. New with tags, two pairs of them. Um, they were on half price day for like three bucks. So that was pretty cool. On the 30th, I sold a Christian Dior kids button down. Now this did have a lot of stains on it. We tried our best to get them out, but the sleeves, like the, the cuffs right here were still pretty dirty because kids like to like wipe their mouth like that. So I had it listed for 12, someone gave me an offer for 10, and I took it, and I made 705 on that, which isn't bad for a steamed Christian Dior shirt, I guess. And my final item on the 30th was a men's new with tags Nike dry fit tee, and this was actually my first and only retail arbitrage item. I tried my hand at that, and it worked out pretty well. So I had this listed at 30, I sold it for 25 and I made $20. So I made my money back. <laughs> I made my money back and then some. I was I was pretty proud of that. I probably didn't do as well as you should aim with retail arbitrage maybe. I'm not really that familiar with retail arbitrage, but I don't think I did that bad. So my total on Poshmark for the rest of the month was 179.71, which is pretty close to the amount that I made on Macari without having nearly as many sales, which is exactly why I want to get more on Poshmark than I do on Macari, but only time will tell how it goes. I'm still thankful for every sale that I make, so I'm not going to complain. Last but not least, we have eBay, and on eBay I only sold seven things, which is more than Kizen, but less than everything else. So the first one on the 14th was the other pair of the New With Tags Athleta Swagger shorts. Um, those I had listed at 25, someone purchased them for full price, so they ended up making $18.21 after fees and shipping. Then on the 19th, I sold a Taylor Swift uh, tour lanyard from the Red Tour. Not clothing, but... You know, there was some other stuff on the bus that we could sell. So this we had listed at $20 plus I think $3.85 in shipping. It had sold for full price. So I ended up making $18.05 on that. Which is a lot more than I ever thought I'd make on a tour lanyard. But you never know. On the 23rd I sold another Bally bra that I had listed at $20. Someone purchased it for full price of $20. I ended up making $14.82 there. On the 25th, I sold a pair of Champion sunglasses. These had been listed for $26.99 plus $4.80 in shipping. Um, they had sold for their full price amount, and I ended up making $24.44 on those. Also on the 25th, I sold a lot of two boys Baby Gap Swim Shorts. These I had listed for $15. I did list them back in early March. Um, I took an offer for 12 so I ended up making $7.41 on those. On the 26th I sold a jack-in-the-box hat. We have a lot of these so if you want one please buy them because we have a lot of these. We listed these at $15 so it's $4.99 in shipping so they sold for full price and we ended up making $9.42 on this hat. Now if only we could sell about 200 more we'd be in business. And the final item, we were finally here after this long video, was on the 30th. We sold a Vanity Fair Cooling Touch Bra. That was listed at $19.99, sold for full price of $19.99, and then I'm making $14.30 on that. 
So my total from eBay ended up being 106.65. And that brings my grand total of the month to, let me do some math first. 307.95 plus. 29.52 plus 179.71 plus 106 plus 65 equals $623.38 for three weeks-ish. I think it's three weeks-ish. Might be two and a half weeks from like the 13th till the 30th. So I don't know what that is. Figure it out yourselves. But that I'm very proud with. Um... I think I'm coming along nicely. I'm excited to see what the future holds. I did some pretty good sales this month. I don't remember what I made in the first part of the month. Um, if you rewatch the video, you can see that and add my totals together if you so desire to do so. Um, but I don't. So I'm just gonna leave it in the air that I made $623 at least this month. So thank you for watching. If you stuck here the whole time, that's amazing. If not, you're not going to see this, so I'm not even going to address you. Thank you all for watching. My name is Juliana, or Honey Be Happy. Uh, don't forget to subscribe down below. Give this video a like if you want. You can follow me on my social medias. I'm on Facebook and Instagram. I'm not yet on Twitter. I should probably get on Twitter, but I don't really know how Twitter works, and I mainly use Twitter to look at BTS pictures. So... We'll see how Twitter goes. But you can look me up there, subscribe, whatever, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, all.